Hello. <clears throat> Hello everybody and welcome, I'm Son of Mogef, it's Wednesday and I'm playing Species, I said that in a weird voice for some reason. Yeah, I'm going to continue where we, sort of, where we left off last week by firing up our Ice Age world full of weird, ugly, mutated humans that look like horror movie versions of E.T., so go ahead and do that. I want to continue from where we left off, where I'm reducing the temperature once a certain population is reached. Um, when we get to, like, minus 20-ish, I think, what I'm going to do is I'll start a new world, and I'll import the dominant species from this world into that world and just see if they can live. It That's, that's the plan for today, so um, it might be a short video. Now... Where were we? Oh, I think it is that one where I saved it last. Let me just jump in and find out. Let me update that. So we're at minus 12 already. I think that's exactly where we left off. I've just realized as well, the population's quite high. Hmm. Memory doesn't serve me very well. I don't remember exactly where we were. Uh, I, I think I'm just going to click this down. I, I tried to click it and the autosave kicked in. Boop, there we go. Now I'm going to continue doing what I did last week as well, is saving it when we make changes and then loading it. I know I've literally just now loaded it, you know, from the main menu, but it appears... That there's like a bug or something, and I mentioned this several times last week, that it, it doesn't seem to update the simulation properly if you don't do that. It's a little bit of a shame, but yeah, I'll deal with it. Let's, let's see what we've got. Why are you here? You are not in this world. Ah, there we go. That, that's something that looks like it might be in this world. Being weird and hideous. Let's have a look. I, I love all these like offshoot species that didn't live. Let's just zoom me in here. The frame rate is not going to be great. It's also blasting me in the eardrums with music because I've got to turn it down. That's me. That's all me, that is. I can't blame anyone for that but me. I turned it up because of the reasons. And, uh, yeah, I forgot to send it back down again. So these are the guys we've got. I like the stripes on this guy. Does this help? Are you better for having stripes? I, I... Every time! Every time! I clicked when I shouldn't have clicked. we got herbivores and herbivores and herbivores and herbivores, which makes sense, I guess. What's the average world temperature? I didn't even look. Minus 16, yeah. So I'm going to just pop it on full speed and watch this. I'm going to leave it for a little while. I could reduce it now since the population is above, above a thousand. Goddamn words. But, uh, I, I, yeah, I mean, you can see it's having a bit of a crash where I've been missing with the temperature and whatnot. So let's just let it run for a little while and see what happens. I love the temperature differentials on this map. Like, it's, what, minus 30 almost over here? 29? 28? 20? Like, it's really cold, but we've got this... Oh, hang on. We've got this patch up here, which is actually kind of nice. A little bit on the chilly side for most people. The high to, like, high teens to the low 20s. That kind of area? Yeah, chilly for most people, but nice for if you're weird like me. Oh, the population, I wasn't even paying attention. Right down to 500. It's not been that low for quite a while, but all the warm areas where they were congregating are slowly disappearing. 
Like this was a warm patch, and you can see that it is still kind of a warm patch. It's completely different in terrain than the rest of it. There's another reasonably warm patch. Let's have a look. But this whole area over here look, is just a frozen wasteland. The average temperature is, what, minus 16? Yeah, I'll, I'm going to let this run for a little while. I'll do a time skip so you don't have to hear me waffle about stuff in the meantime. So when this gets up to over a 1,000 and seems stable, I'll bring you guys back. We'll change the temperature and have a look to see, you know, how that affects things. If they live for a reasonable amount of time at, like, minus 20 or whatever this will go down to next i'll start a new world that's already cold import them into it and see if they can handle that i'm not sure what i'm expecting to be honest but i suspect that in this simulated world creatures that are evolved to a world that have that steadily got colder will not survive as well in a world that's always cold all the time, if that makes sense. So anyway, yeah, I'll bring you guys back soon. Okay, welcome back. Uh, the, the, it's been a long time. It's been a long time. My recording is nearly an hour long at this point. I'm at 57 minutes. So it, it's been a long time, but you can see the population for the first time is over a thousand again. It went right down to like 50 and it stayed there for so long and I've been watching it the whole time and loading, you know, saving and loading regularly just to see how things are going. Uh, the frame rate has absolutely tanked. It's been running at a solid 10 FPS. <laughs> it's gone up a little bit more because I've paused it, but uh, let's have a look at the clade diagram. Oh. Wait for it to autosave. This is something that I've resisted indulging my obsession with. I have not looked at this since I... To oh my god, the frame rate in this is even poor. This is where I think I started the episode. Right here. You look at all that that it's done, look. And if you look back, like, this is where we started... That was last week. So it's it's been a long time. Let's have a zoom. Oh god, I don't know why the frame rate is so bad. Jesus. We got these guys. Cactus head. Oh or just this guy who's just a cactus. Uh Oh, right, so lots of species that look like cactus with no arms to speak of and very little in the way of legs. Interesting. Oh, is that a tail? That one has a tail. I don't think the others do. Oh, I, cl I clicked and I shouldn't have. Because, of course, that one doesn't have a tail. I did it again. Why won't I learn? Okay, so this one doesn't have a tail. This one definitely doesn't have a tail, although I think these lumps here are actually arms. They've just folded into the body for warmth, I would assume, since the average temperature is like, I don't know, what is it, minus 16? Yeah. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and save this. Um, I'm going to save it on a new slot. Oh, I can't put special characters. I was going to have a question mark there. Okay. Yeah, I can barely even move the camera, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the temperature down to minus 21. I don't know what this is going to do. This might cause them to become extinct. It might do nothing. They seem pretty well adapted to the cold at this point. Let's... 
uh, I, I, I'll put it on normal speed to begin with. Because putting it on full speed is going to make the frame rate even lower than 10 frames per second. Oh boy, alright, let's just go for it and see what happens. The population's actually going up right now. How How's that a thing? I'm down to 4 frames per second. 3... 2... Oh my god, oh god. I'm not sure why it's running as badly as it is. It might be the fact that it's a really, really long simulation compared to what I normally do, or if it's because the population is reasonably high, or maybe the particle effects from the snow-covered areas are clogging things up. I'm not sure. The, f the population is going down, which may or may not help the frame rate. Let's just let it chug and see what's going on. Ironically, it's not using any of, well, hardly any of my computer, uh, my CPU. It's at like 1.1% of my CPU is being used by species at the moment, which is interesting. Since the OBS uses like 10 all, all on its own. Things are not going terribly for these creatures, are they? The population went down quite significantly, but I feel like it's also going up quite significantly. I think I'm going to do the thing now where I import... I'm going to save the dominant species from this world and import them into a world that was already cold and see if that affects anything. I might also restart the game as a whole just to, you know, see if it clears up the frame rate because it's it, it things are getting a bit oof, aren't they? Let me go ahead and pause it. The frame rate is so bad that I actually can't pause it right now. There we go. Okay. Just chill, species. Just for a couple of seconds. Just have a bit of a chill. Sort yourself out. Okay, it's it, apparently it's still only running at like 10 frames, but... Uh, I'll save it there. Let's have a look to see what the dominant species is. I can't click the clade diagram because of the frame rate. Played. There we go. Oh, we've got three dominant species. Ah. We've only got three living species. And they're all the dominant species? I didn't even know that it could do that. Huh. Alright. Let's go... Export. Uh... Export. Please, don't autosave, export. Hey, so something, something awful has happened. I, I may have killed it. I actually just can't export creatures right now. Okay, let me see if I can sort this out. I'll bring you guys back in a moment. Um, technical difficulties. Okay, once again, I'm back. Sorry about all the cuts and whatnot. It's uh, been a bit of a, an ordeal to get this to work. So um, I did exactly what I did last time. I created a new world and I, I fiddled with the temp, the seasonal settings. And it's as long as a, of a cold season as I could get. I've set the average temperature wouldn't let me go down to lower than 17 in the... Um, in the world creator menu and I populated the world with the dominant creatures from what you've just seen me do which are these three we've got him and him and him Th this guy look at the legs on this guy I will give you a severe kicking he's got big lumpy feet as well oh uh 
yeah the only thing i need to do now is set this going hope it doesn't crash because if it does then i'm, I'm just gonna quit i've been at this for hours at this point so um you might see me rage quit i just want to know if they survive if they survive that's awesome i i think they're probably just gonna go extinct i mean there's more of well, less of them, I should say, in this world than there were in the other world. It's nice to have a frame rate again. <laughs> I'm not going to lie about that. But technically, this world is warmer than the one they've just come from. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, what, what was that? The population went from like 100 to 400 in like no time at all. What are you doing to me, species? I actually like had a brain meltdown for a second then they're all going extinct again <laughs> although we still got three of three i love the, the the breeding rate like when they have enough energy to breed the population just explodes although that wasn't particularly impressive was it okay now the question is, do I sit here and babble incoherently for like 20 minutes while we wait for these guys to um, either go extinct or reach a thousand, or do I do another cut? I might do both, actually. I'll sit here and ramble incoherently, and if it goes on for a long time, I'll cut it. I'll just cut it. Oh god, don't, that one was coming at me. Chill, just calm your bean. Christ. Look at them all gathered around the trees, look. We will live and we will tank son of Mogef's frame rate. We're gonna make everything chug. Make everything die. I complain about things in this game. I love it. Even given its quirks, I just think it's awesome always does things that are unexpected to me every time i play it there's something that happens that makes me go what even is that what the hell just happened what are these things what are you doing <laughs> he's having a having a bit of a kip in the in uh oh 20 degrees not bad actually probably one of the few warm spots this world has to offer oh we lost one him Big lid cactus guy is still doing quite well, although this just big gigantic ball of fur seems to be outperforming at the moment. Uh, I mean, of course he survives in a winter wonder. Oh, wait. Whoa, 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 stop. Just stop everything. I thought when you look at this guy, right, it just looks like a big ball of fur with legs. But when I spin it round, look, they're not legs, they're arms. They're attached up here. If you, I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see, but they're attached there. A lot like just below where a shoulder would be, I guess. Um, That's horrifying. <laughs> that's really, really bad. <laughs> All right, I mean, that just proves my point, doesn't it? This game does things that make me surprised or, like, disturbed. This game upsets me, and I love it so much for that, because, you know, it doesn't happen that much. Really, really doesn't. Ooh. These guys look like they're having fun. We do have a bit of a population. Not much, because we started with 250 in the entire world. So, and this world is a little bit warmer than they're used to. Like, the other one was at 21 for a little while, until it died to be on my ability to save. Had no choice at that point, but, uh, yeah. I'm going to let this run. I let the other one run for nearly an hour. 
And uh, I'll do the same for this one. If they get up over a thousand, I'll bring you guys back. We'll reduce the temperature and see what happens. Um, I'll see you on the other side. Hello. I'm back. It's it's only been... It, it, I don't remember exactly where I said I was going to do a cut last, but this half of the recording, because I stopped when I... The other recording when I started doing this bit in the new world. And that was that recording was up over an hour. This one's currently at 56 minutes. <laughs> so I've, I've been here a while. Like the sunk cost fallacy is strong with me today because at this point I'm kind of just dedicated to seeing where this whole thing goes. Crazy. So yeah, we're up over a thousand way up over a thousand i looked away for a second and boom let's have a look to s oh jesus did it have to look at me like that let's see where this is gone you could look th this is where i i loaded the world with three creatures look he went extinct not that far into the simulation Yep, lumpy-legged Bigfoot guy is also gone. But the, the one that survived was probably the, the one that I... Yeah, I was going to say, it's the one that I liked the least. <laughs> With those weird arm, leg, feet, hands, thing, claws, whatever it is that they are. And look at all this, look. Like, there's a, a species that did quite well down here. But, yeah, we're, um, this is the state of things at the moment. He's still got the weird arm, leg, feet things, but he's lost the, the hand. I, I, what the freaking hell? What is this? What have you done, species? What, why? Why would you do this? Whatever this is. Oh, we've got him and we've got him. Look at these! Look, he's got like spears for arms! Oh god! And it's a herbivore, it's not even like he's gonna go spear fishing or something. Right, so let's put the temperature down. I better bloody save it. Um, Where? Where do I save it? I'm, do I'm just gonna put it there. Somebody remind me that it's on Ice Age 3 because I don't remember. I'm gonna have to clean all this up. Here we go. Let's see if these guys go extinct from that temperature change. I know I've only just now put it back down to where it was in the other world, but this world has always been cold, where that one went from being warm to cold. I've, I've lost the plot, I swear. Like, between cuts, I, I decided to go and get myself a snack because I was feeling hungry. Um... This is going to turn into a bit of a story. A little while ago, a friend of mine brought me a bunch of alcohols from around the world. There was like some German beer and there was, I think, Sicilian gin, which is horrible. I didn't like it at all. And there was some schnapps and there was a bunch of different, like there was a brandy and a whiskey and a bunch of stuff, and I kind of overdid it. I'm not a big drinker, and I made myself really hungover the next day. I was not doing well at all. And when that friend found out, she ordered me some um, confectionery, some sweeties, some candies from around the world, and she gave them to me. She was like, try not to hurt yourself with these. I know it's not likely, but it is you. Oh, anyway, joined the car. I went off... To where the sweeties were kept I thought yeah I'll have some of these ones they're minty something from somewhere that I don't remember and I, I cut myself on the foil bag I tried to like rip the top off the bag because they're all foil sealed because they ship around the world and obviously you want them fresh as possible and I gave myself a paper cut like a paper cut it's longer than a paper cut and it's not really that painful or that bad it's just it's right in the fold of my finger the one that i use to click the mouse so every time i click not only does it hurt a little bit it opens back up so it starts bleeding again 
<laughs> Welcome to my life. Well, they spent, I don't know, nearly three hours recording one episode of Species and managed to hurt myself on a bag of sweeties. <laughs> Absolutely insane. How are we how are we doing on this? Uh, just I just want to oh, they're all dead. They're they're all dead apart from this guy. Oh, yeah, it had to be you that survived, didn't it? It had to be bloody you that bloody survived. God damn. And he's not doing Hello? Thank you. He's not doing that badly. Sorry, I got interrupted by the autosave. Wait, it says there's three species. Oh. I guess while I wasn't looking, two more pop three more popped into existence. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I kind of hope this guy lives long enough to establish a population, because I mean those are some bulky shoulders. He is a chunky, chunky boy, isn't he? Look at that. I don't know what these are. Oh, they're hands. There are his arms, look. And there are his hands. Oh. Oh, look. We're not quite over a thousand, but we're getting there. Oh, God. This, this Ice Age has created a, a species, like a group of chunk monsters. <laughs> Oh, oh, I need to stop at some point. I'm having too much fun. I don't even care that it's going to be like a four hour long species let's play. I, I, I don't care. I'm putting the temperature down. It's down to minus 25 at this point. I'm also going to save it. Uh, I might actually be losing the plot right now. I'm also going to load it because I nearly forgot to do that. Keep the simulation updated. Thank you, Species, for catching up. Let's rock and roll. I noticed the way the, the, the population is high, but the frame rate is... It, all right, it's dipped, but it's not at two like it was before. Not sure what, exactly what's been causing that, then. It might be that it's a long simulation. I'm not sure. Let's see what we've got around the world. I haven't explored the world much. I've just been letting it run. All right, chill. Also save. Uh, minus 20, 30. Wow, some of these areas are damn cold. This is all like in the in the nice pit, in the nice area. Like minus five seems cold for some people. I I think I'd probably. Probably a little bit cold for me. Being British, like I like to say things like, "Oh, I enjoy the cold weather more than the hot weather," but it, you know, it's not that cold here. If you put me in minus five degree temperature, I probably would complain. I'd be like, "It's too cold for me." And then when you know you get the warm weather, I'm like, "It's too hot for me." I don't know why I'm complaining about me now. I really have lost the plot today. I've got a lot going on in my brain, apparently. I just realised that I left the nursery on. I'm trying to find a warm spot, but it's really not that warm anywhere around here, is it? I need to concentrate back on species. It's a species let's play, not a watch son of Mogef's bloody brain unravel let's play. And to be fair, my brain wasn't well ravelled to begin with. It's actually quite warm and on this one spot here in the pine forest. Let's um I mean they were over a thousand in it's now minus thirty. I've I've just gone mad with it now. Uh do that and then I have to do this to make sure that it's updated. I like the way I've got a world there called Make a Shark, and I haven't actually successfully made a shark yet. I made a shape, a shark, sh a shape shark. Sh <sighs> calm. I need to calm myself. I've been telling species to calm, and it's me that needs to calm. What I was trying to say was, I made a shark-shaped species, but it never lived for very long. No matter what I did, it just wouldn't survive. 
<clears throat> oh dear. I'm, I'm actually kind of shocked right now. The population is going up and we're at minus 30. I'm going to pause it quick. How low does this actually go, do you think? It goes to minus 61.6. All right, let's put it back up to where it was. Where was it? I think it was here, right. I hope that doesn't affect it. It shouldn't do because I did it while paused. There's no, like, update. We are down to the one species. Who was it that survived? It was you, wasn't it? The one that I don't like. Again, still. Grr, you. Oh, dear. This has become like a whole thing, hasn't it? Oh, my God. My recording is up over an hour. I'm going to have to be shocked by this guy. That's, that's what's going to happen. They've actually hit the creature cap somehow. How has that happened? It's colder now than it was ever was before, and they they were barely surviving. I'm just going to do another save. Uh, overwrite. There we, oh god! Oh god! The frame rate's going again. Oh, quick! Um, I'm going to quit to the main menu for my outro. Yeah. So um, that was a really long, weird experience with uh, species. I had fun, and I hope you did too. Like and subscribe if you didn't already do that, and um, and things with days and stuff. Um, it's when it's Wednesday today, which is why I'm playing Species because it's Species Day. Thursdays I tend to take off, and I'm probably going to do that, and I'm probably going to take the rest of the day off from doing anything because my brain is just in a spin right now, and I need to calm myself down. I'll just be good for a little while or something. I don't know. So, um, comments in the comments section if you have them. Tons and tons of awesome comments from awesome people in regards to species recently. I've got ideas for new ways to play and other things to do, which has given me new ideas. I've got them written down. And when I'm finished with whatever this experiment started off as, something to do with an ice age, I think. I'll um I'll get to them in due course. So thank you to everyone for your suggestions. I um like I say I will get to them and if you have more ideas keep them coming. I'm open to all that good stuff because you are the good people and you deserve to see things that you enjoy. That sentence came out wrong. I'm son of Mogev. This is species. I'll see you Friday for tear down. I'm gonna go lay down. <laughs>